Hi guys, how's it going? And welcome to the Thai Energy Drink Challenge. Challenge? Just drinking Thai energy drinks. Ugh, the aftertaste on that one is nasty. Ugh. Scotty does. Uh, does what? He does, done, didn't do. So I have picked out five energy drinks from 7-Eleven and these are really cheap. Like, I think the most expensive one was like 15 baht and the rest were like 10 baht each. So that is really, really cheap. Thais love energy drinks as well. You see these everywhere. You see people drinking them everywhere. Personally, I am not a fan of energy drinks. I hardly ever touch the stuff. I've touched them a few times in my life, just at work, you know, a bit of Red Bull, like the normal Red Bull we have in the UK, just to keep me going. But these are like crazy looking bottles. I mean, look at that bottle. It just looks like medicine. It looks, oh, I really don't want to try these. Make it look nice. Like why would you make it look like medicine? It's really, really strange. Anyway, all these drinks contain caffeine which obviously keeps you awake, keeps you going. They all include taurine as well, some higher levels than others. Obviously you all know the old myth that taurine comes from bull bollocks, bull's bollocks, bull's bollocks. Yeah, everyone thinks that taurine comes from bull's bollocks apparently. It doesn't actually come from there. It is found there and it is found in humans, it's found in animals but it is actually synthetically made in labs. I didn't know this either, that apparently it's not just energy drinks that contain taurine. Apparently cosmetics do, apparently contact lens formula contains it, and apparently infant formula as well, especially for premature babies. Apparently it's good for them. We're gonna crack into the first bottle, which is the famous. Famous, you might never have heard of it. The M150. Now this is very, very popular here in Thailand. I see a lot of people drinking it. When I actually went on that fishing trip in Chiang Mai, the guy actually drank like, I think it was like nine of these throughout the day. He was mad on them. So I've never ever tried this in my life. They're all refrigerated, nice and cool. So apparently that is the best way to drink them. This specific bottle contains 48 milligrams of caffeine and 0.4% taurine and loads of other weird stuff, but I'm not gonna read it all out. So, let's get into it. We'll start with the smell. It smells exactly like Red Bull from a can in the UK. That's exactly what it smells like. Give it a go. Kind of tastes exactly like Red Bull. One thing is though, it's not fizzy. That's a quite a surprising thing. It's not, it's not fizzy at all. I'll give it one more go. Very, very sugary. It literally just tastes like flat Red Bull with obviously you can't taste caffeine. So it just has more caffeine in and probably more sugar. So yeah, that's not too bad though. You can see why people drink it. So this one is Carabao. Apparently this got its name from a popular Thai singer called AED Carabao. Sorry if I'm ruining that name. This drink contains 50 milligrams of caffeine and 0.8 milligrams of taurine as well as obviously the usual other stuff that they seem to just pile into these drinks. Kind of a cool bottle though. The smell is exactly the same, just smells like Red Bull. And one thing I did find out, apparently this has been launched in the UK. So let me know guys, if you are in the UK, if you've seen this bottle appearing in your local corner shop. I have to try it if you see it. Ooh. That has more of a medicine taste to it. It kind of still tastes a little bit like flat Red Bull, but with like a, with like a ting, with like a weird aftertaste. I'll try it again. Mm, it really does taste like nasty medicine, that one. That's not good. Ugh, the aftertaste on that one is nasty. Ugh. Number three on the list is this one here. 
So this is called GSD Ginseng Drink. Now this has 100 milligrams of ginseng in it apparently. It has honey, taurine, caffeine. The caffeine levels are 50 milligrams as well for this one and 900 milligrams of taurine. So this is the first ginseng drink. Let's give it a smell. Ooh. It smells like sweets. Like really, it smells like, it smells like you just walked into a sweet shop. Let's give it a go. Oh my God. I'm not giving that a second go. That is nasty. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, really recommend this one if you do come to Thailand. Amazing. Mm. Yeah, we'll give that one a pass. Next up is the Red Bull. Now this is Theroplex L. Apparently the guy that invented Red Bull is a Thai guy and he died in Bangkok aged 89. Quite a few years ago now, not too many years ago, but a few years ago. But yeah, he was the guy that invented this. This contains 50 milligrams of caffeine as well. So if you do come out to Bangkok and you end up going to the famous Koh San Road, then you probably end up drinking this with Sang Some Whiskey Rum. Whiskey Rum, big debate there. I think it's more of a rum, to be honest. And yeah, you probably end up drinking this and having a good old night. I never did that because I really don't like energy drinks. But yeah, a lot of people get fucked up on Sang Some Rum and Red Bull. So yeah, be careful of it. Have a couple, don't go overboard because this stuff is pretty lethal itself. A lot of people still come out to Thailand thinking that this has amphetamines in. It doesn't have amphetamines in, it's just a big hoo-ha. So, we'll give it a smell. What a surprise, it smells like Red Bull again. Probably because it is Red Bull, Scott. Mm, yeah, okay. Bit of a taste. Okay, tastes like a flat Red Bull. Apparently, it's not fizzy, so it's easier to drink. Yeah, that and that pretty much taste exactly the same. And last but not least is this one. I could literally find no information on this bottle, apart from the fact that actually on the label it has a honeycomb and it looks like ginseng. So I'm guessing it's gonna be kind of like the GSD one, but I literally have no idea what's in it. I don't know how many milligrams of caffeine, no idea. It's, it, I just, I Googled this for like half an hour. I couldn't find out anything on it. So either this is like a homebrew that someone's like just snuck into the 7-Eleven shelf, or it's just really, really unpopular. Don't know. It's tight. Well, it's the hardest one to get into so far. Let's give it a smell. Ooh, that really does smell like medicine. Wow. Ooh. Yep, yeah, whiffy. Ooh. It tastes like the G GSD one, but it's a lot stronger. It's a bit more potent. Give it another taste. Not my cup of tea. Definitely not my cup of tea. Ugh, they're nasty. I don't know why anyone drinks these energy drinks, to be honest. If you've tried these, then comment down below. Let me know your thoughts if you love them or hate them. And I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Remember, you can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.